Brendan Leeson has been fishing at the Sonora Resort for years, but this morning was one for the record books. Within the first 20 minutes or so, we uh, hooked a monster. A fishing resort in the Discovery Islands northeast of Campbell River says a guest has nabbed a record-breaking salmon. It started to run and then we could tell it was really big. Vancouver Angler has quite the tale to tell this weekend, if you believe it. it might be a seal or a halibut or a big dog dogfish or something. And Brendan Leeson and local guide Tommy Thompson fishing in an area known as Discovery Island when Leeson reeled in a massive 72-pound Chinook wow. salmon. Possibly the biggest salmon caught in the area. My partner was basically urging me to come, and I was, uh, I got uh, sort of stuck on the having my family there. And so we decided to take the family as well. And then, so the next morning, we hopped in a helicopter and away we went. It's the one place you can take your entire family and catch a trophy fish and still keep your wife and children happy, safe, and sound. We had the baby in the boat, we had my wife in the boat, we've had my 11 year old. Everyone got to learn about fishing. You can't get any better. Just a beautiful day. We went out, we were just chit chatting, and uh, Alex and I decided which seat we were going to sit in for the day. And luckily, I chose the port side and he chose start. <laughs> went over to Denham Bay and did a few tacks, and we got uh, a 20 pounder or something and a 15 pounder. And then we were in amid 30 other boats, and we just happened to drive over a really good strike. And we knew within sort of 10 minutes that it was something at least, you know, 30 pounds or so. The radio is going off, you know, how are you doing? We're doing great, how big is it? Oh, it's a 30, 35, 40, 45. And by the end, it was just, oh, God. <laughs> Tommy was excellent with his guiding and his boat handling. We did start doing some big circles with the boat, which told everyone to get out of the road, but then also focused all the attention on us. Literally, I was talking to the fish, just saying, oh, just lay still for a second, just lay still, like, calm down, it's going to be all right, you know, chill out. And then everyone in the boat, just there was this moment where it just calmed down. The fish literally came up like that on its side for a second. That's when we got it. But even when we had it in the boat, it was like, don't take it out of the net, you know, it could still vaporize somehow or escape. But the real experience there, I think, for me was when we turned around the corner by the seal rocks there, and I was, you look at the dock, and there's just lineups of life jackets and you're kind of wondering well Jesus there must be a, something going on and you realize it's actually all these people that have come just to see the fish. People just love to see someone with a big fish. I don't know what it is but it doesn't have to be English, French, German and doesn't make any difference. You just show someone a big fish and people get excited. And we put it on the scale but just because of the setup we couldn't get an accurate weight and then uh, the fish was taken away to get weighed across at Big Bay and so we were all just kind of hanging around and celebrating the 65 pounder. And then uh, about 20 minutes later, we got a radio call saying that the fish was 72 pounds, so that sent us over the moon again. So, I mean, this fish started at, you know, 20 pounds, and then went to 30, then to 45, then to 50, then we saw it in the water. It's like, ooh, that's a 60. Yanked it in the boat, now it's 65, and then weighed in at 72. I mean, it's just amazing. 50.5 inches long, 32 and a half inches around, 11 inch wrist. It's a monster. I was lucky enough to have my daughter there, so her first real salmon fishing experience, within 30 minutes, we land this whopper. She was talking to the guide and watching him clean the fish. The guide showed her how to do it, so she not only caught her own fish, but she actually cleaned it. So she has, on that one trip, caught, cleaned, and brought home and eaten a salmon, which is just a real treat. I think now, having caught that one, that there's some big fish there that just get off the line or they escape. I'm ready to go again next year. <laughs> I was out that afternoon. <laughs> Oddly enough, there was no discussion of the Derby this year. <laughs> so uh, I think we just skipped the Derby. And uh, Alex, if you're watching, you did get second place. Can you imagine really that one in? Look at the size yeah. of that thing. That's a lot of fish Woo. frozen in the freezer for the winter. Good on the grill, though. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching tonight. We'll see you next time. Good night. Good night.